Welcome to Covered Uncut. There's an old rule that you should never meet your heroes, and I've always thought that was nonsense, because I've met people like Lynn Ramsey and William Friedkin and Ken Russell, and it's all turned out to be absolutely brilliant. However, here's a story which is a bit long and rambling, so bear with me. I'm in the middle of writing a book at the moment about being in bands, and one of the things I was writing about was the fact that I'm a double bassist, and I've done a lot of busking, and that involves walking around on the streets carrying a double bass. And if you walk on the streets carrying a double bass, people feel absolutely compelled to come up to you and make one of three jokes. Either you've been overfeeding that violin, how do you get that under your chin? Or, bet you wish you'd taken up the harmonica. And the first time you hear those gags, fine. Second time, yeah, fine. Third time, fine. By the time you get to the hundredth time you've heard them today, it's quite hard to smile. Anyway, the other day, I was in a screening room going in to see the new film by Clio Barnard called Dark River. I love Clio Barnard's films, and Dark River is a really interesting, powerful piece. But I was waiting for the screening to start, and I wanted to use the men's room. I had to go downstairs, and I went downstairs into the screening room. There's a second screening room down there, and I heard coming out of that screening room the unmistakable sounds of an ABBA song. Now, I love ABBA. I grew up listening to ABBA. ABBA's Greatest Hits is one of the first albums I ever bought. I love their songs, and you'll probably know that when I reviewed Mamma Mia, I said I thought the film itself was all over the place, but somehow the songs were indestructible, and they just won through, and in the end, I, I went with the movie. It, it, it overwhelmed me, it won me over, and there's a sequel to Mamma Mia coming out, and I thought, oh, well, maybe somebody is test-running some stuff from, from the new Mamma Mia film. Anyway, I thought nothing more about it. I went back upstairs. A couple of minutes later, two gentlemen came up the stairs and walked out the door. As they came up the stairs, I took one look at them and thought, it's Benny and Bjorn. It's actually Benny and Bjorn. That is actually Benny and Bjorn. And I nudged the person next to me and went, that's Benny and Bjorn. I said, what? I said, that's Benny and Bjorn. They said, where? I said, there, as they were going out. They said, what? They said, what? I said, it's Benny and Bjorn from ABBA. Literally. They said, that wasn't. I said, it was, that's who it was. And I was completely starstruck because I love ABBA. I, was, I absolutely love their songwriting. And I thought, I, I have to go and say hi to them. I have to go and say hello to them. But I was so completely starstruck, I, I couldn't move. And I, I waited about 30 seconds. Then I ran outside. By the time I got to the street, they'd gone. The moment had passed. The moment to say hello to Benny and Bjorn had gone. A little bit later on, after seeing Dark River, which I liked very much, I was talking to somebody and I said, you know, one of the ways I know that film is good is it managed to overcome my crushing disappointment at having not said hello to Benny and Bjorn. And they said, well, you know, what would you have done if you'd rushed up to them? What would you have said? And I said, I don't know, I didn't think about it. I probably would have said, thank you for the music. And they said, yeah, because like they wouldn't have heard that a hundred times before that day. <sighs> In retrospect, it's probably better that I didn't meet them. Stop.